You guys know how much I love new costume characters. I'm always on the hunt. And it is the spooky time of year when all of the creepy ghouls and happy haunts are out. So I've been invited to Legoland New York's Brick or Treat event to meet a brand new monster character. And let me tell you something, the characters here at Legoland are some of the best characters in all theme parks. Now hold up your little pamphlet here, but do, uh, cover it. Make sure you don't reveal who it is, because we kind of know who it is. The, the, I know who the I know who the new character is, but I'm not showing you guys. You gotta wait. Oh, I just saw it, but you don't know. <laughs> don't show him. Don't show. Can he blurt out? Don't. I already know Dracula's gonna be here, Kenny. He's DJing the party we're going to. You don't know about DJ Daddy Drac? We got a whole monster weekend going on here, Kenny. It's not just the very important monster party tonight, tomorrow, Kenny, at the Brick or Treat. There are seven monsters to meet. There's, there's a lot of spooky characters at Brick or Treat. Who could this new monster be? I have no idea. Legolands all over the world have so many great monster costumes already. So I'm excited. It could be anything from a ghost or a zombie or a witch or a, uh, I don't know. I don't know. There's so many fun Lego monsters. Looks like we got some competition here. Oh. No competition for us. They all played their costume cards early, but I've got a secret costume reveal later in this video. You guys aren't ready. Spoiler alert, it's hidden in his Mickey Mouse backpack. Yeah, I'm Ethan hunting it. We're gonna do full Mission Impossible disguise later. Does Ethan Hunt just put a lot of disguises in his backpack? Yeah, he's got all kinds of stuff in his backpack, man. He's in the Impossible Mission Force. The new character is Spider Lady. Whoa, your hairdo is beautiful. Oh my God, could you give us a spin? Oh my gosh, look at you. I love it. I wish my hair looked that good. That's why I'm wearing a hat, because it doesn't. <laughs> I love Legoland costume characters. There's just something so tactile about her costume and that hair piece. It looks like a, a costume that I could play with. Her hands are Lego hands. She's got like the Lego jointed body. It's amazing. It, there's like this like nostalgic childhood energy that just fills my body when I'm meeting a Lego character that's larger than life. Gotta get the shoes off. Oh my God. I got this one Music and the step that we've got. 
I didn't say stop. Do you feel uh, good about yourself right now, Dan? Terrorizing those poor Lego people? I feel great. Right. You mean to tell me you're inviting me for an exclusive opportunity to walk around Miniland at night and you don't expect me to dress like a giant reptile and stomp around? My baby. Mission accomplished, night one. Daddy. Have you met my dad? Daddy right You're scaring the children. I like how the dragon's butt's hanging out the bottom. He blew it out. <laughs> Thing is rocking. I just laid this this morning. Welcome. Okay, just from the banners alone, uh -huh. we're seeing we're seeing Drac. He has a name. I think he's like Lord Vamp or something. Okay. Because Dracula's copyrighted. Right. Uh, Cheetah Girl, I don't think she's a costume character you can meet, but she's in the monster movie. Frankenstein, definitely meetable. Zombie cheerleader, I think she has a whole stage show. We got to get in here and see what's going on. Okay. Got the full layout of Legoland here, including some treat trails. And I'm a little hyped about that. So you can see all the candy stations. There's a lot back here in the castle and some in Lego City. Making it real easy. We've got some time to kill before the events kick off, so let's go explore the park. So you're a big fan of this ride. It's so genius, because you think you're going to just see how Lego are made, but instead, in true Lego fashion, it takes the whole idea of a factory tour and flips it on its head in such a fun way that, like, just, it really tickled me the first time I wrote it. And it was like immediately, like, we got to tell the people about this, Kenny. you're making back here. There's all kinds of mischievous spells you're up to. You look great. You look so spooky. <laughs> I love Zombie Cheerleader. I love that they have these characters out there doing like really fun choreography in shows and not just like as only meet and greet opportunities. So Zombie Zombie Cheerleader is one of those characters that while you might not be able to meet, the show she's in is so much fun and interactive that it feels like you're partying with her. It's, it's really cool. It's all right. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We get to pick a song, a copywritten song to dance to. 
yeah, both Dan and I agree, Monster Mash has to be the song to pick here. Wow, Monster Rock! Monster Rock! Monster Rock! Monster Rock! Monster Rock! Monster Mash, right? Excellent! His personal favorite! Is it? He must be so tired of it. <laughs> it's the only one he He's listens to. He's a monster! He's never tired of it! <laughs> <laughs> All right, then the other way! Oh, there it comes with choreography, Kenny! Yeah. yeah. Other way! Amazing! Other way! <laughs> and now, we're gonna mash! Yeah! And then the hands up! Again! There you go, you got it! Yeah, freestyle. Freestyle. Make it a howl to the moon. Woo! Awesome. Let's show you your best monster pose. Oh yeah, we gotta do the Lego hand. Yeah, trick. the Lego hand trick. Awesome. Thank you so much. Very cool, every monster. This song. Let me hear you. No, she'd be out. All over the place. That's right. We will rock you. All these monsters rock. Now that you had a chance to meet our squad, it's time for us to get to know you. So on the count of three, shout your name out nice and loud. Ready? One, two, three. Disney Dan! And you said that! We did the Monster Mash! It was a graveyard set! It caught on in a blast! We did the Monster Mash! Let's get you back to that very good call! It's pretty awesome! Yeah! Round of applause. Yay! Right. The Wolfman? He, yeah. he takes the bone, I guess. I don't know. He takes the snake? <laughs> oh. This is it. This is the last character we need. You look great! <laughs> That's fantastic. Whoa. Mommy, I saw you wandering all the way out here from back, from back behind the fence. You, you're, you're committed. <laughs> <laughs> I had such an amazing time at Legoland New York, and I gotta say thank you to the staff for hosting me at such an iconic event. I love Brick or Treat, and being able to check out the Monster Party was super duper fun. I gotta say, of all of the spooky characters they had out this year, Wacky Witch is easily my favorite. There's just something so nostalgic about that bright green face and the purple outfit. It just takes me right back to my Halloween childhood. Let me know in the comments below which of the LEGO characters that you saw in this video were your favorite, or head across all of the holy social media channels and let me know there. You can find me on Instagram, TikTok, Patreon, Facebook, find us everywhere. Plus, when we were out there at Legoland, we could not stop filming and have so much extra footage, it's been turned into a bunch of vlogs, so come on over to Please Stop Vlogging and check out some amazing extra adventures. Trust me, you're not gonna wanna miss these. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, you rock. And that rock that you are is made of Lego, obviously. <laughs>